This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash. That's all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. And my name is Abar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad who believe in this truth and are uh, seeking to be of that elect wholeheartedly in truth and sincerity. All right, because at the end of the day, man, all hell is about to break loose. You see, all hell is about to break loose. And this is about to go into a second lockdown, man. Okay, now I'm trying to be very careful with my words and certain things you can't say. Last week, I just got a, a channel terminated. So I've been kind of, you know, um, walking on eggshells, man, with Esau. Because, you know, we're living in a world where nowadays, you know, when, when it comes to speaking the truth and speaking righteousness and speaking up against evil and wickedness, you're censored. Okay? You're silenced. Okay, and this is why the Lord is ultimately going to come and destroy this place, man, with thermonuclear missiles, because this place is wicked. Okay, it's desperately wicked, and it's only getting worse. Okay. Now, what you see on the screen here, it says Brighteon. Okay. Now, I don't know. It says the pro-liberty video community. Okay. And <coughs> what I'm about to read here, um, don't come on my post talking about, you know, What's the source and this, that, and the third? This is prophecy, man. All right, the source is the Bible. And we're gonna, I'm going to prove that to you through these scriptures, man. But listen to what this is about to say. Because no matter what time is coming, we, we, don't, we, we, we don't know the next. We will know the time or day, okay? But we know that the Lord is coming. And when he does come, before he comes, all hell is going to break loose upon this earth, man. Okay? The scriptures talk about a time of tribulation like never but uh, four. Okay? So whether or not this... Everything in this article is completely accurate. That's be um, needless to say because as long as it goes with scriptures or prophecy, we know it's accurate, man. Okay. Now the times and days might not be accurate. Don't call me saying how many days we got left. Like, nah, man. All right, but but you do get the point. So let me bring this back. This is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because Jake will be wicked all day fucking long. You know, uh, uh, their whole life up until the day before the Lord comes, man. You know, it, and, and, and that's if, you know, Jake knew when the Lord was coming. All right. Jake would be just niggas all day, every day, and then repent right before the Lord come and think they're going to be saved. But this is why the Lord says this. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So you see on this article, it says within the next 12 days, which, you know, could really be, you know, the next two days. It, it could be the next two hours, man. Okay. But this is all about to happen. Okay. Now, let me, let me read a little bit of this article for you. It says the coming D lockdown is designed to invoke nationwide protests. Here's why. And before I read this, man, this is the reality, man. We was telling you when this whole George Floyd thing happened, when people were protesting. You know, they got laws in place now down here in Florida where if you protested and blocking the road, it's a felony, man. Okay? So they're telling you that, they, they, hey, 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 your freedom of speech is gone. Okay? Your rights that you thought you had, they're gone. And they're going to show you that by their actions when they start really making these moves and, you know, passing more of these draconian laws. Okay? We know they're trying to make this thing um, mandatory. Okay? They want everybody to get it. I just saw an article of the UK, of a man, um, you know, one of those devils over in the UK telling, talking about how um, you won't be able to travel forevermore, meaning don't, you know, there's no, t there's no time limit ever. You know, you'll never be able to travel again without a, um, that certificate, man, okay? The, the, the certificate for taking that thing, man, okay? You're not going to be able to do, to do nothing without it, okay? And that's coming to America. And it said young people won't be able to leave either okay before it was like okay only if you was uh, uh, the elderly because you know they're they're more um at risk of getting 
um, you know, getting sick. But now they're saying young, 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 hey, young people too, okay? So it's, you're going into a complete total lockdown. And this lockdown is going, they, 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 they plan on doing this. They're planning, this is a plan, they're telling you that they're planning on doing this to ultimately invoke martial law and to usher in their new world order, you know, putting things into play, you know, coming down with, you know, that almighty foot on motherfuckers neck, man. All right, this shit is coming. It says within the next 12 days, multiple sources have told us. So there you go for the, for, for you for your sources. Multiple sources have told us the pretender in chief, Joe Biden, will announce a nationwide lockdown. You hear this? A nationwide lockdown. So there's going to be another lockdown, man. Okay, a nationwide lockdown fraudulently blaming the D V and it, you see it, man. All right, you see it on the screen. Anti V. Okay, because I ain't going to say the words, man. All right, because I just got a channel taken down with, you know, a good amount of followers on it, man, that I, that I was just building back up. And every time I, you know, I start getting the channel built back up and, you know, getting everybody back on, on, on one channel and get the videos rolling out again, they, 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 they snip it, man. Okay, the Lord said that it's going to come a time when his prophets, hey, our tongues are going to cleave to the roof of our mouth, man. You see, we do these shows, we, we, we go out to these camps and do two-hour, three-hour videos, man, to edify you. But there's going to come a time where the Lord is going to shut our mouths up, man. You're going to be trying to find these answers. You're not going to find them. Okay? We're telling you what, what what is coming. And because Jake can sit back and eat Cheetos and watch the football game still, they, they, they ain't worried about it right now. But when all hell break loose and you completely on lockdown, then you're going to be worried about it, man. You know, when you're losing your job, they're saying you can't work without it. They say you can't go into these stores without it, so now you're hungry. Okay? And ultimately, a lot of these people are going to fall, man. You know, they're saying that, you know, they, they're going to they, they're give these incentives, talking about $100 for anybody who get it. But then they said after that, you know, they're going to pretty much come, 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 come with the strike down and the smack down, man. They said right now the, 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 two, the two biggest people they're worried about are the ones who are on the fence about it. You know, that's why they're going door to door to convince you. Okay, and then the ones that are just dead set and saying, hell no, I ain't taking that. Okay, and they know. That the ones who ain't taking it are no can can no longer be a part of the society, man. You can no longer be a part of the society. He's still trying to bring a new world order. He ain't gonna have no rebellion in his new world order. This is why he wants to chip you, man. He wants to be inside your body. He's putting things inside your body to control you, to, to have power over you. To be able to press a button and make you drop. You know? I got a post, and I, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go to it, man. I was very I'm, I'm I'm very, you know, iffy about bringing this out because, man, hey, I don't need them, you know, striking me or nothing. But, hey, this is, um, how, what do they say, fair use? Fair use, I'm not making any money off of this. This is just for edificational purposes, and I'm not giving any um medical disinformation, okay? I haven't said anything medical, all right? And that's just for the, um, the damn algorithms, man. It says, um, the, and... Ant oh, anti V for the overzealous action. So, so they said, so I'm bringing this back. So, like he says, within 12 days, multiple sources have told us the pretender in chief, Joe Biden, because Joe Biden's just a front man, okay? He's just the, the, the damn puppet in the seat, man. All right. These elites are really putting things, doing things behind closed doors. And really, it's the most high that's, um, you know, Causing them to do these things, man. You know, when we see this, this shows us that Yahweh Shem Shah is working in our favor, man. You see, because we're not gonna be able to get out of here until this shit hit the fan. If we, if, if, if they just cooled this shit down and gave us another two years in this place, man, I, I, I would probably lose my fucking mind. Okay, because this place is just getting worse and worse and worse. We, a hey, Lord needs to come speedily. And this is why, you know, this, this is why we, you know. In this thing, man, because ultimately we want salvation, man. We want to get delivered out of this hell. We in hell here, man. And the more and more wisdom and knowledge you get, you, the more and more you're going to realize that, man. Scripture says that, um, 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 I forgot how to go roughly paraphrasing how wisdom it bringeth much sorrow, okay, and grief. Because one could, because, because one, hey, once you figure out what the hell is really going on, it's not pretty, man, okay. It says the new lockdown will be perceived as 
so overreaching and totalitarian that nationwide protests will soon commence. And this is what's going what's going to happen, man. Nationwide protests. So they they told you it's going to be all peaches and cream. It's going to be sweet if you just take it. If you just take it. Just take it. Just take it. It's going to be okay if you take it. Everything go back to normal. There is no fucking normal, man. This this place is finished, man. This it, this place is finished. For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. Now you see a woman, you know, every time, you know, you see a, 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 a woman giving birth, is she just sitting there chilling, you know, at, um, you know, at ease, or is she screaming and hollering and, you know, in torment, man, of that baby coming out, you know? And they shall not escape, you see? So you're not going to be able to escape the things that's coming. You're not going to be able to escape the the uh, trials that, that 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 are being set up, man. You know these tests, cause it, we all gonna be tested, man. The Lord is gonna test our faith. See, we'll see who if we really believe in Him, and you are gonna see who really believe and who don't believe, man. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. And why are we not in darkness? Cause we, we because 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 we've been studying this word, man. Teaching this word, okay. Praying and fasting to the Most High for more understanding, more knowledge, wisdom, okay. So the Lord has opened us into this light, and we are not in darkness, but the rest of these people, they are in darkness. And spiritual aid, the, the, um, the title of this website, I guess, is called Brighteon, all right? That light, all right? You got certain people on this earth that's, you know, pushing the light throughout the earth, man. Okay, and Esau is trying to snip that. Now people got got, 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 got to go on, you know, um, alternate platforms and um, make their own websites and stuff, man, showing you that. You know, it's not getting any better. It's getting, in fact, m m much worse. And, you know, we want it to get worse, man, because this place, you know, it's always been bad for us, man. You know, I can't think of a time in my life where I, I did not have to stress. I can't think of a time in my life where, you know, I, I wasn't in vexation or sorrow. You know, there may be spurts of, you know, joy and laughter for, for a period. But, you know, then you think then you, then you then you get back to reality, man. This place is not life. This isn't living, man. This isn't it. Jake think that America is the end-all, be-all. This ain't it, man. To hell with this place. It says, this is actually all part of the plan. The lockdown push is being engineered to invoke a backlash even among leftists, you see. It says, and this, this is a hey, verse 6. Um, first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6 says, Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. You see what they say in this article, man? They saying that this is a, a, a plan. They, they, they're making a plan. They're about to do a second lockdown. And it's all according to their plan. Okay? To ultimately bring in, it says to invoke backlash. Why? So they can bring out that new, that, that martial law, man. What, what, what was telling you um all last year with this whole George Floyd thing? Was that last year? About how, you know, these, these damn devils, man. Hey, when are y'all going to go out there to protest? And they're going to just mow you down. That's why they had that whole thing happen with George Floyd, which was, you know, I believe was an inside job, man. It was a, a brother did a video about, you know, uh, it was a George Floyd um, um, Merle. OK, like a painting on the wall of him. And they got struck by lightning, man. And, 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 and you know who's sending them lightning strikes. OK. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. So that shows you that, you know. That man was, you know, more than likely a damn sellout, man. The whole, the whole thing, even the way it went, because Jake's get die every day, man. On camera, off camera, and never go out, never make the news, none of that, man. Okay, but this whole thing got turned into a big old thing. So people would go out there and protest. You had Edomites out there protesting, talking about someone interested about Black Lives Matter. That whole thing was a damn, <laughs> you know, a psyop, man. Okay, a damn show. Okay, all according to plan to get to, 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 to you know cause to get you on your emotions to go out there and protest you know to um, light a couple cars on fire throw a couple bricks in windows so they can pass you know some legis legislation that they did now in Florida if you out there protesting and you in a road at all pretty much you you, you get a damn felony off the rip meaning they they hey, they sending you up the road man and and soon it's gonna be those those uh, FEMA camps okay. This is about to come down with all hell and wrath, man. Um, I'm going to read a little bit, little bit more of this because, you know, this is very powerful. But, I'll, you know, it says, um, for they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. You see, these people are asleep, man. 
You know, they have no idea what's going on. You got people that have taken this thing, and they have no idea what's going on. Matter of fact, let me bring this out. It says, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. This is what we're doing, man. Let us in a, 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 who are of the day be sober, which means a hey, of us of a serious mind, man. You know, okay. You supposed to be in a serious mindset. You supposed to be, you know, you ain't supposed to be um, you know, in in a bullshit, man. It means ha having your your mind in the right place, knowing what's going on. Okay, you're not drunk. You're not lost. You're not confused. You're not asleep. You know how, you know how today's word they, they they call it. Oh, he woke. He woke. That's what it means to be sober-minded, man. Putting on the breastplate of faith. It says, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. What? Faith and love in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You see, that's a breastplate. Why? That's going to be our protection. Our faith and our love in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. What, 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 hey, hey, first of all, what's the love? Keep uh, Keeping the commandments and teaching others to do so, man. You know, teaching his truth, doing his will. That that showed our our, our our love and our faith for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so we are gonna put on that breastplate because that's gonna be our protection. Man, the Lord gonna protect us and have mercy upon us because of that, man. You know how you know how you read the scripture about how um His name is a strong tower. The righteous run, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Meaning if 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 you had you know if you've been calling upon the name of the Lord, if you've been praying and seeking Him in truth and sincerity, the Lord is gonna protect you in these times we coming into. Man, that's why we you know we ain't we we we, we don't get fearful. Or afraid or moved by any of this shit Esau doing. Matter of fact, we are praying for it to come sooner, man. We we understand we're gonna see a lot of mass death and destruction. Some of our own family members and friends get big get, getting getting destroyed. Hey, you know. The Lord may even have where we end up being destroyed and, 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 and have to become martyrs, man. However it go, man. However it go, I I constantly tell myself, you know, I find myself all the time when I when I when I'm talking to the Lord. Lord, destroy this place. Destroy this place, obliterate this place, and if you know, you know, Lord willing, you know, we, we, we all pray to pray to be of that elect. You know, we 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 all hoping and praying to be of that elect. But even if we not, destroy this place, man. Let's let's go, man. We about to get the kingdom. It, it's, it's it's all about the kingdom, man. This place is finished. Let me go ahead and um. It says, "For the Most High have not appointed us." To wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So all this hell Esau's planning, he saw these plans he got. The Lord did not appoint us to, uh, unto that wrath, man. Lord, willing we be that the, um, um, that elect, of course, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And how is the Lord gonna come in them chips, man? Okay, he also gonna give us that salvation by his his angels. You know, when all hell bre bre does break loose, the angels are gonna protect us. He'll have a hedge of, hedge of angels protecting us, man. Okay, granting us, um, um, how you say it, uh, pre 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 pretty much granting us deliverances in these times, man. The Lord going to deliver us from many situations, man. And I have seen this in visions where, you know, <laughs> right before I get the, the, the delivered from some crazy shit, I, I, I'll think about how, in, 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 in the vision, I'm thinking about how the Lord has already delivered me from so much more prior you see, so we're going to go through a lot, man. We're going we're gonna to see a lot. It says, this is a is actually all a part of the plan. The lockdown push is being engineered to invoke a backlash even among leftists who will join uh, um, conservatives in, uh, in taking to the streets to protest the mad tyranny. You see? So, so meaning that these people are going to come together, okay, and they're going to come against this system, man. Okay, and this is why Esau is going to have to do his damn thing. Okay, and he got to do it fast. Okay, he has to do it fast, man, because, um, you know, these, 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 these people are getting restless, man. You know, he's, he's, lo he's losing that, 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 that control, that power that he desperately wants, because Esau wants total control. You see, when, 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 when he told motherfuckers to put a mask on, you know, I, I just, I just when I saw everybody had the mask, I just, I just knew they was, you know, tickled about how much control and power they have, have over these people. Okay. It says during the this ba this backlash, the corrupt Biden regime will roll out false flag events that are designed to permanently destroy the Bill of Rights, take away citizens' firearms, and to force man 
Dottori V at gunpoint nationwide. This is the world we're coming into, man. This is the world we're coming into. All over the all over America and even all over the earth. It's about to come down to the fucking wire, man. Okay, these people are about to start acting crazy. They're about to start showing you what they about, man. Don't hey, don't get hey, don't get weak in this thing. Don't give up. Continue to fight. If you gotta fucking starve to death, man, starve to death, but do not take that shit, man. Don't take that 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 that, that damn um that 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 karagma. Okay? Don't take none of that, man. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and to them that dwell therein, for the, the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. You see, the sword, which means what? A weapon of destruction. A sword is a weapon of destruction, man. Great death and destruction is coming. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. I mean, it's getting close. And one people shall stand up and fight against another people and swords in their hands. That's the modern day sword is a gun. Okay? The modern day sword is the gun. Okay? Let, let me say it one more time. The modern day sword is the gun. Now let me bring this back. During this backlash, the corrupt Biden regime will do false flag or roll out false flag events that will that will be designed to permanently destroy the Bill of Rights. Meaning your rights, man. Okay, there ain't gonna be no fucking rights. Take away citizens' firearms. They're gonna, they're gonna take your guns, man. And you know these people, you know, these damn, you know, Trump supporters and these damn gun ho niggas, they gonna they, hey, they they plan on fighting for them damn guns, man. <laughs> All right. They're gonna be fighting. All right. And as these people are fighting, our job, you got these guys, you know, going and camp and vest and shit on, you know. Bragging and boasting about guns and shit. Hey, while these devils are fighting out there about them guns and about these damn V's, we are gonna be sneaking at the back door, man. Scripture says the meek shall inherit the earth, man. While while, while they while they out front killing each other, we hey our job is to be sneaking out the back. The Lord the Lord's gonna put the spirit on us to sneak out the back. You know He's gonna give us a, a a way to escape when these devils come down with this wrath, man. It says, for there shall be sedition, okay, which basically means an uprising, um. Against the government, man. Against the ruling powers. Among men. And invading one another. These people are, you know, it's going to get so bad. Well, They're they trying to starve people out, man. They're telling you you ain't going to be able to buy or sell. You ain't going to be able to go into these stores without it, man. Okay, so, you know, the average Jake, you know, it, 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 they're going to end up folding, man. They're going to end up folding and taking it. And then the food's still going to run out. Hey, hey, man, a damn famine is imminent, man. The food is still going to run out. And they're doing it purposely. To cause you to run to them, okay? That you want to serve them, and even then they still, you know, got 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 plans to kill your ass, man. So why would you give in to Satan when you could be serving your whole Shai? If I'm gonna die, I'd rather die for your whole Shai than to die with the damn devil. It says, "For there shall be great sedition." Salakia, Salakia, I got a phone call, but um, I want you, I want you to look look at the screen, man. All right, look at this video. And just look at, you know, I want you to read every last one of these tweets. This, this is actually from Twitter. And read every last one of these tweets, man. See, because a lot of people, as I heard playing games, thinking it's sweet, thinking it's a, it, it, it's, it's a joke. You know? Now they in regret. Okay? Same ones who they was calling uh, coat. Saying we was in a coat, we was crazy. Losing our mind. It's not that serious. Now these motherfuckers over here... Sitting at home, trying to figure out what's going on with them, man. All right, and they are in regret. All right, for for, for not taking heed to, to the words of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai through his men. All right. So let's, let me go back. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. I mean, they're gonna do whatever they want to do, man. If people are gonna be out here doing whatever they want to do. If they, if they, 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 you got food and they want it, they taking it. Okay. If they don't like you and they want to kill you, they are killing you. Okay. If they do like you and 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 you know want to pop you, they popping you, man. Man, woman, and child. It's gonna be complete, disgusting, lawless wickedness out here, man. We gonna need a hedge of protection. We gonna need our Lord, Yahweh, by some y'all side to survive the times we about to come into, man. Okay. This thing is not even. You know, they, they flat out tell you it's an experiment, man. It's an experiment. 
It's an ex- fucking experiment, man. You people, they, they trying to force you people to take it. Most of you people, they, they already done got beguiled, man. Look at this. The list goes on. They got beguiled, okay? Not going to lie. I kind of sort of regret taking the V. I regret taking the, this effing V. You see? And you go on Twitter, all you got to do is type in um, um, V regret, all right? And you know what I mean by V. It says, I regret taking this. What is in the fever? What is in the the, the fever in, is this? Even uh, part to myself, whatever. It's not reducing the fever. Oh, she's she having a fever, you see? Maybe I regret taking the V today. I feel so sore. Um... No, I'm in so much pain right now. I can't stop crying. That V, I regret taking it. Boom. So you see, I'm I'm starting to regret taking the V. Absolutely regret taking the V. You see, over and over again, man. These people are in regret. You know, they feeling stupid and bad and crazy because, you know, they fell for the okie doke, man. And if people falling for the okie doke like this, imagine how much more in the future to come, man. You know, who knows what they put inside you, man. Now you feeling bad. All right. It says, um, so, okay, yeah. it says, um, second Ezra chapter 15, verse six, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, you see. There's a video that came out the, um, the other day about how you're not going to be able to travel, man. And in that video I said about the, um, in, in the UK, that man said, I'm going to grab it real quick. Here we go, here we go, here it is. It says, um, new, V will be required to travel forevermore, and young people will not be able to leave the country without it. The UK transport um, Secretary Grant Shap told BBC, told the BBC. So you see, man, it, it, you ain't gonna be able to go nowhere, man. Or you ain't gonna be able to do nothing. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city, but not, but shall not be able. You're not gonna be able to go into, you know, go, go into the next city and see your family or, you know, your loved ones, you know, your woman or your children or your grandma, you know, you, oh, I gotta go check on grandma. Nah, man, you know. You got people that live, you know, in compl- completely different states from their family. They done moved away from their family. You know, when this shit pop off, man, you, hey, you, hey, you are never going to see them again. Okay? Nine times out of ten, un- unless it's in a FEMA camp and you got shipped somewhere. <laughs> okay? To Guantanamo Bay and you send a, you, you, you got a damn, a damn bag over your head and they take it off. And the person's um, um, kneeling next to you in, 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 in the same orange jumpsuit and, and, and handcuffs and had a bag on his head. What's your damn cousin? Okay. Some of your family, you know, y'all gonna see, man. Okay. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So because of this great tribulation, people are gonna be, you know, going crazy, man. Okay, destroying each other, man. Okay, anything, any, anything that they can, they're gonna be able to get their hands on. They, they're gonna be taking it, man. So you can only imagine what life is gonna be like for Jake, man. You know, Jake already getting gunned down, left them right as is, getting murdered and killed as it is. You know, relentlessly. So how much more, as you know, things get worse and. You, you got now you got everyday Edomites get 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 getting you know knocked off. Hey man, that's what scripture talk about. Jacob's trouble, Jacob's trouble. Okay, and we coming into a time where, um, the damn winter, man. Okay, they got people who who just got evicted on Saturday. Millions of people just, had just got evicted on Saturday, man. You see, you you drive through through, 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 through town and you gonna see people, you know, posted up in, in, in the front of Walmart or, you know, behind damn. 7-Eleven or something, man. Okay? And people that, you know, that you don't usually see. People that, that, that look like they, they ain't supposed to be out there, man. That just had a home, but lost their home because Biden, you know, they they, they took back this um rent thing, man. 
Matthew chapter 24, verse 20. And this is all off of me going back, you know, who was a prophecy that passed. You see, but, you know, it's happening again. You see, we are coming into these times again. Verse 20, but pray ye that, so like you, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on a Sabbath day. Okay, so you don't want to have to run for, for, for your life, okay, on, you know, in, 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 um, in the winter, okay, in the dead of winter. You don't want to be starving, okay, not be able to eat, not have a house, not have a car, not have a job, not have nothing going on for you in the winter. But Esau is setting it up and preparing this thing, making plans to have where whoever does not submit to this new order B system, that's going to be you. Okay, and we, and, we, and, we, and we already, you know, read Revelation chapter 13, you know, about how to mark, you know, the market of the beast. Now, this, this, this thing ain't the market of the beast, but this is what they're preparing you for. This is what it's ultimately all leading up to. You taking that damn thing, man. Okay, once you take that thing, they already got your ass, man, for the most part. Okay, unless the Lord have mercy upon you. Okay, a lot of these people, hey, you were warned, man. Long before this thing even came, we was telling you, do not take it, do not take it, do not take it. And you had all these other guys telling you to take it. And all of a sudden, motherfuckers down from it, and now they're, trying to now they're trying to retract their statement, showing you that the Lord is not dealing with these men. If they're going to tell you to take it, and then all of a sudden people start dying from it, the Lord's not dealing with those men. General Yohan and native of IUIC, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden they, they, want to, they want to retract those statements. Nah, man, you told Israel to go over there and not only sin against the Most High, teaching, teaching, uh, uh, teaching that it's okay for them to go off and... um uh pierce their flesh okay defiling their temple and taking that damn thing and then motherfuckers start dying for it from it on live tv they want to come up and say oh yeah no i saw i said if, if, if you ultimately have, if you really have to if you you know if you don't want to quit your job but yeah no no i'm not taking it they say, they say i'm not taking it, i'm not taking it and i think the guy yohanna still you know still telling motherfuckers to take it okay so these guys are sold out man it says verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So we coming into a time like never before, man. Okay, a time that you can't even imagine, a time that that, that, you, that you can't even put in your in, in, in your mind, man. You can't think about how these times are gonna be. You know, we, no, we 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 can kind of think about it, but it's gonna be much, much, much worse, man. Okay, a time of great a time of great tribulation. Or, or it's like a trip, trip, tribulation. As a matter of fact, let me grab this word tribulation for those of you that don't know in a blue letter, man. Let's do that. Okay? Because you got to understand what's coming is the end all be all, man. Okay? Of what we call America. America's about to be destroyed. So why would you give in as this? Hey, man, if, you know, if somebody try to, you know, rob you or brick in your house. And you get the, the the best of them and, and, and catch them lacking and pop them over the head and they're on the ground, you know, bleeding, bleeding out, you know, <laughs> looking at you. Would you then just, you know, hand them the gun to shoot you to get up and, you know, continue on robbing your, your, your damn house? Nah, man, this place is finished. This place is finished, man. Okay. Hold firm. Hold firm. So the word tribulation. Let me grab it. It says. Strong's G 2347. Thelipsis. 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 All right. And that's tribulation. Okay. And it says. Um, this is what we're about coming to us. It says a pressing, pressing together, pressure, great pressure is coming, man. And you know what they say, man, pressure busts pipes. Okay, but pressure also makes diamonds, okay? So those of us that has been, you know, preparing ourselves and, you know, built, um, you know, um, establishing our houses upon that rock, you know, when, when this time's come, hey, we gonna, hey, hey man, it's, hey, it's going to be, it's going to be that, man, you know? You got Jake's that's in a fucking frenzy right now because they, they realize, okay, I'm going to have to take it eventually. You know, if I want to keep my job, if I want to keep getting this money. Yeah, Jake crying about not getting no money. Oh, man, you got, I'm trying to, I, I, come on, man, you gotta get, we got we to gotta get some money. To hell with that money, man. If, if the, moment, the moment my job say you got to have this thing, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell them, you, I'm out. 
I'm out. I never liked y'all anyways. Um, it says, um, oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, straits. Straits, and, and, and that straits means, um, you know, hard times, man. You know, oppression, affliction, okay? Distress. All you people about, about to be real distressed soon, man. Pressure, literally or figuratively. Affliction, anguish, burden, persecution. Look, you hear this? Per it says burden. Burden with what? You know, now you can't just go into the store and buy some. You can't just go and walk into the store, grab some off the shelf, pay for it, and walk out. Now you got to get questioned at the door. You know what I mean? We, we saw a little bit of that with those masks. They were telling you, oh, you can't come in the store unless you have a mask on. And if you try to go in that store, they, they had, you know, some of them had security guards sitting outside, man. They actually hired security guards. I want one of those fucking guys at now. <laughs> you see? But they're coming back. You know, they're coming back, man. It says persecution. They're going to be persecuting us, man. They're talking about going door to door to convince people. Okay? Tribu tribulation, trouble. Oh, that word trouble. What, what, what does that make? What does that make you think of? Jacob's trouble. We're going to grab that next. It says... Uh, since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened. I mean, the Lord is shortening the times, man. Hey, this week went by so fast, man. You know, just feel like just yesterday, it uh, it, it was, uh, we, we was at camp. You know, and here it is already tomorrow we got camp again. So be prepared, man. All right. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Why? Because all of us will be, you know, destroyed and eventually, you know, give in to this damn devil. Okay. Scripture says, if it was possible, this man shall deceive e even the very elect. But why? Why he not? Because the Lord has a hedge over his men, over the elect of Israel. And he's protecting them and keeping them from these snares, keeping them from this darkness, man. So we know what's going on. We, hey, hey, we ain't lost. We ain't confused. You see? We know. It says, um... It says, um, verse 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Meaning nobody going to make it out, man. Except these days are short, ain't nobody going to make it out of here, man. Okay? Ain't nobody going to make it out of here. Except those days be shortened, this place is going to be finished, man. Okay? There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel, those days shall be shortened. So the Lord gonna shorten these days for us, man. You know, he, 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 the Lord, the Lord is gonna get us up out of here. Lord willing, we, we, we be that elect. You see. Um. Let me grab it real quick. And this is ultimately a, a message to you Israelites, man. You so-called Negro, Spanish, Native Indians. Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse. Um. One. The word. That came to Jeremiah from the Lord, or just like Jeremiah from the Lord, Yahweh, saying, Thus speaketh Yahweh, power of Israel, saying, Write thus, or just like write thee, all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. And this is how, this is how, how, how you get these different books, because the Lord was speaking to his men. You know, he was inspiring and speaking to these men through the Holy Spirit and caused them to write certain books of what he was telling them to, to write. So these are the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, what's coming is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, man. All the help you saw about the bring, it's ultimately the Lord bringing it, man. And the reason why it's going to be time to go trouble because two-thirds of our people, you know, mocked and scoffed and thought this shit was a game and, you know, disrespected the men of the Lord. The Lord is about to utterly destroy a lot of you motherfuckers, man. Okay, in the worst way. Thus speaking... Yahweh, power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah. And saith Yahweh, and I will cause them to be to, to return. To lock you. And I will cause them to return. To the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. So, okay, so um, that's actually not what I was meaning to get. I just, I just ended up um, rereading re down, but here's the point. And these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. 
meaning what you so-called Latinos and um Nat and Native Indians, and you so-called blacks, man. All right, Haitians or, or um uh, Jamaicans, whatever, whatever, whatever you, whatever, whatever it may be. The Lord is talk talk up to His people, man. Says for thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice. We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. You see, so when you when they say that peace and safety, and the sudden destruction shall come. Hey, we have heard you know the voice of our Lord telling us that all hell is coming, man. You know, ain't no, ain't no peace coming, man. America about to be destroyed with thermonuclear missiles. What, what, what are you niggas trying to prepare for here? What, what, what are you trying to, um, per, per, what are you trying to preserve here, man? For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do we see every, do I see every man with his hands on his loins? They were that travail with child again. He says, wherefore we see every man doth travail with child. So if you if you will see how a woman scream when she's having a baby, imagine men screaming in anguish and fear, you know. In, in this time, man. How much if the men are gonna be like this, how much more the the uh the, the uh women, man? Okay, and then how much more the children? You know, the babies that Jake keep popping out. Jake trying to have babies left left and right here and there. Jake trying to be Hebrew Israelite family men and shit. Okay, okay, you're gonna see, man. You gonna see, you know that when Jake, when Jake come, come in that spirit of, oh yeah, man, oh, oh, we just gotta keep the commandments, brother. Get married, go get you a wife, brother, and live happily ever after in Babylon, brother. They come in that spirit. All I think about is Jeremiah 16, and, and you know I, I'll grab, I'll grab, I'll grab, uh, I'll grab a little bit of that for you, just just for the sake of this lesson, man. But it says, ask ye now and see whether a man of travail with child, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? As a woman in travail, and all faces are turning to paleness, because people are going to be afraid, man. Okay? Paleness, is when, when somebody say, oh, you're looking a little pale, it means you're either sick, okay, or you're afraid, you know? I turned to a ghost, you know? I got spooked. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob was our forefather. You still call Negro Spanish Native Indians. When it says Jacob, it's referring to us. You see, Jacob is about to be in trouble. Our people are about to be in trouble, man. But he, the elect, shall be saved out of it. You understand? So, you know, at the end of the day, that's what we strive in is truth, man. We striving for Yahweh Bashim so, so we so we don't be like these people on the damn screen, you see, in, in, in total regret. And they ain't just going to be regretting taking this thing. They're going to be regretting their whole lives, man. They're going to be regretting not seeking Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're going to be regretting disrespecting and, you know, slandering the prophets. You know, not, 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 not taking heed and giving ear to the prophets. Not respecting the men of the Lord. Not respecting the Lord, man. They're going to regret all this, man. They're going to regret all, all the party and bullshit they, you know, indulged in. They're going to regret it all. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 1. The word of Yahweh came also unto me, saying, same book, man. Okay. Same book. It says, saying, thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. For thus saith Yahweh concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning the mothers that bear them, and concerning the fathers that begat them. In this land, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, which means cry for. You're not gonna be able. You're not gonna be able to cry for them, man. You no, know, you're gonna have women out here eating their children. All these OnlyFans prostitutes having babies by all these meetups they're doing. They're gonna be out here eating their children, man. And they ain't gonna be able to cry about it. Cause I, cause, cause I, cause. I was hungry. Okay. Neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. I mean, a lot of dead bodies, man. You know, if you met a dung is shit, man. You know, when that when, when an animal, you know, defecates on the earth like a, you know you imagine a a, a a a horse. Okay, an elephant. Imagine an elephant just you know you standing behind an elephant and that motherfucker just defecate. You know, 
that shit ain't going ain't, ain't, ain't getting buried. It's just going to sit there. It's going to bake in the sun. Okay, it's going to go some mold and flies all, all over it. Until, he, until eventually it's fucking stepped over and trodden down back into the into the soil. And that's how Jake's bodies are going to be until these missiles uh, 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 utterly consume this place, man. Utterly burn this place up. You're going to have bodies littering the, 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 the damn streets, man. And I've had visions. I had a vision that it was just war, all out war and chaos. Because that sedition, people were just killing each other. And there was just bodies and blood all over the place. In the city, in the middle of the city. We was in the city, man. And all I saw was just blood, you know, and bodies, man. They sprung out all, 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 all over the city. It says, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcass shall be meat for the fowls of heaven. You see, like I said, the modern day sword is a gun. The famine means no food or water. They're talking about food shortages are coming. And, and, they're, and they're purposely creating them. It says, and their carcasses shall be meat to the fowl for the fowls of heaven. Meaning the birds are going to be feast on, feasting on you, man. And for the beasts of the earth, you're going to have dogs that are eating dead bodies, man. You know, you, you know you're going to be, you know, you know, go, 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 go down, you know, you be, be, be walking through the city, you know, and turn down a dark alley. You're going to see a damn pack of dogs just munching, you know. All you're going to see is they damn backs and they tails. And next thing you, know, you go around and start to eat and, and it's somebody's insides, man. Lord can have where your ass to be still alive. Why, 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 why they eat? Why they eat, eating your ass alive, man? For thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Enter not into the house, into the house of mourning. Neither go to lament nor bemoan them, for I have taken away my peace from this people. Who the, the, the wicked of Israel, man? The wicked of Israel. And you see this post, man. The majority of people on this post appear to be Jakes, man. Okay, talking about some how, how they regret it. You see? And then this is why ultimately the Lord calls them to take it, man. Because the Lord, the, the, hey, the Lord ain't dealing with these people, man. He calls them to, 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 to mess around and take that thing just so he can destroy them and be, and be justified in it. For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith Yahweh, even loving kindness and mercies. I mean, the Lord about to just all, hey, bring complete total wrath and, and, you know, destruction upon our people, man. That's wicked, you know. That's really not our people. They not our people right now because they ain't wickedness, man. You know they have forsaken Yahweh Shemesh. It's one thing, man, to be a wicked, you know, to be going off and, you know, trying to get right. But it's another thing just completely, you know, forsake and you know deny Yahweh Shemesh altogether and not even want nothing, nothing, nothing to do with him, man. You know, there's some some of us that that are really actually trying, and then there's others that are just don't give a damn. That's the ones who the Lord says, um, for I have taken away my peace from this people, saith Yahweh, even loving kindness and mercies. Both the great and the small shall die in this land. You see the old and young. They shall not be buried, neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. You see. Um... <clears throat> It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse, mm, mm. I'm starting at verse 1, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 1, then said, said Yahweh unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people, cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth, meaning the two thirds of Israel, man. That's why they come up and they can't get this truth. You know, they come up and they, and they you know, they, they fucking wrestling with the scriptures. And we, 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 we'll just tell them, hey, man, this ain't for you, man. Just go down the block. You see, casting you, casting you before the, <laughs> casting you from the Lord's sight, man. Because, hey, when you come before, you know, you know, the prophets, man, you know, you are coming before the men of the Lord, man. And there's angels there, you know, take a, 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 a taking record. Okay. Making records and taking reports. It says, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Meaning when, when these people come to us asking us, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? After we, 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 we've been out here telling you to come and, and serve your whole my shot all this time. And I see it all the time, man. You know, you, you know, you, you got Jake, man. They won't hit you up until they need some shit. They won't hit you up until they're in trouble. This Jake. You know, if, if they good, you'll never hear from their ass, man. 
But when the moment they're in trouble, the moment they need, the moment they need help with something, man. Okay, the moment their life is in danger or something, 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 something ain't going right. They, they all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they know your number. Okay. So that's that's what's gonna happen. People gonna try to come to us, and they gonna like I said earlier in the video, hey, I might as well cleave to our tongue, man. They gonna want, then they gonna wanna know all the answers and stuff. So it says so they gonna ask, whither shall we go forth? Like the like 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 the ten virgins. You had the five that are wise, and the five that are foolish. Then the foolish ones that was you know lacking and bullshit. Then you know when it was time time for for for, for the wedding, then they wanna ask about the oil. Now they wanna be a part of the truth. We see all the time, even when this thing first started. Hey, then you had waves of people in our DMs who had plenty of ample opportunity to get this word, but 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 uh, for and, and a lot of them just you know when things started to cool back down, they went back into the world. I saw a video today where the elders, the elders and apostles was talking about how in um when a two thousand thing happened, where Jake, everybody, everybody thought the world was going to end in in, in a in a two thousand, and it didn't happen. A lot of Jakes that were in the school of One West left. Okay. Because why? Because they had that fear of the world ending. So they were putting on a show. They were pretending. They were faking the funk. Okay, as if they really cared and was about it. But really, they wanted to be back in the world, man. See, we don't want to be back in the world. You know, though we may go off, though we may fall short, ultimately, we hate this place, man. Okay, we, hey, I hate myself, man. You see? We supposed to hate ourselves. You know, you come in, you, in this world, the world teaches you, oh, that you forget that you supposed to love yourself and all this conceited bullshit. We ain't nothing, man. We are in chains of darkness. Now we were, you know, we appreciate the fact that we Israelites. We appreciate the fact that the Lord has, you know, has has, has given us life every day, you know, but in, um, or or breath every day. But in, at the end of the day, this ain't life, man. I hate it here. I hate this life. I hate everything about it, man. When when I found out, you know, I I you know I and we 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 used to be that conceited. You know, foolish spirit, proud spirit. But when I found out the Lord had a new, you know, spiritual bodies for us, man. A, a, a kingdom of heaven waiting for us. Good, clean women. Okay. We're we, we going to get our women as virgins in the kingdom of heaven and not these fucking ran through harlots that t that's telling you about they, they want this and that and the third and shit. It says, Then sh thou shalt tell them, Thus saith, saith Yahweh, Such as, for, as are for death to death, And such as are for the sword to the sword, Which means that, you know, that, that modern day gun, And such as are for the famine to the famine, And such as are for the captivity to the captivity, Meaning what? Being cast into them, them uh, FEMA camps, man. You know, and, and you know, <laughs> and, and and you know, <laughs> this thing, these things happen to Israel over and over again too. You know, this this thing, these things happen. You know, we we find ourselves in captivity over and over again. But this time, you know, this captivity is different, man. Because at the end of this one, they're seeking to completely slaughter us, man. It says, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith Yahweh, the sword to slay. The dogs to tear, going into that, what I said earlier about how you going to know, you know, the fowls of the air and the, and, and the beasts of the earth shall be, you know, eating these people's bodies up, man. You see? Hey, hey, hey cannibalism coming back. People going to be eating each other's bodies, man. People going to be eating their own bodies. You going to be in such destitute and desolation that motherfuckers going to cut their own arm off and put, put it over a fire, man. And start chewing on it like it's a damn turkey leg. It says, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the earth, oh, sorry, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. You see? The beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. So the Lord about to bring all hell upon these people, man. Sherbert says that he have, he have created, spirits created for vengeance, who in their fury lay on sore strokes. Meaning, hey, the Lord got spirits out here that can jump on these damn animals, man. You know, some of you people may, may, may have, may, may, you, 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 you may have a dog, right? You may have a dog. You had this dog since it was a puppy. This dog love you. He sleep with you, you know? Every day or whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? You feed him every day, you know? He, he dog never gave you no problems. The Lord can put a spirit on that dog to chew your fucking face off, man. One random day, you walking through the house, the dog just jump on you. I did a video on that not too long ago. Well, well actually, it was a little while ago. I didn't take the video, the channel down and the video down a long time ago, too. But... Imagine you, you know, just, 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 just go, go out, go out, you know, you watching this video, go look at your dog, 
And understand the fear of the Lord is that the Lord can put a spirit on that dog to fucking tear your face off. Okay? In a blink of an eye. You don't know what happened. What's going on? I saw a woman and she was, you know, I think it was, it was actually earlier t t today, I, I believe it was a picture of her. And she, um, you know, she, 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 she was a fair woman. She was, you know, a beautiful woman. But she had a big bandages on her face. And she said, don't, don't be asking me about my bandages. I got attacked by a dog. And that, you know, that shows you, man, the, the spirit of your whole body all shy. Um, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to make this too long. It's too lucky with me. It's already been a little minute. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, start closing out. Let me go ahead and um, grab a couple more scriptures, if y'all don't mind. If you're still here. Um, Shalom. Yahweh Shabbat To you and your family. You know, that y'all, you know, be safe if you really, um, you know, enduring this thing, man. I know, you know, all the damn scoffers and mockers and damn demons and reprobates already done left. Probably damn at the damn three-minute mark. It, it, even that. <laughs> and we probably going into an hour now, right? So, hey, man. Um, you see what time it is? Yeah, we're going into hours. So let me go ahead and cl close this out soon. Let me go ahead and grab um. Before I go, I want to grab Daniel chapter twelve. Daniel chapter twelve. It says, and at that time Michael shall stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as was never since such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, so they're gonna come. We're coming into a time like never before, man. And we, we've been telling you that. I, I, hey, I didn't brought out a couple of scriptures. I told you that over and over again, man. Okay, a time of tribu tribulation, a time of trouble. Okay, a time like never but uh, before, such as was never before, such as so like as such as was never since there was a nation. Even to that time, so this was you know, think about World War One, World War Two. Okay. The damn, um, what was it? Uh, um, the bubonic plague, um, this, um, uh, what is it? Um, Spanish flu, you name it, man. How many people died and how bad those times was the Great Depression? Okay, worse times than that is coming, man. It says, as, and it's going to be pretty much, it's going to be pretty much everything in one. Everything's going to hit at once, man. You know, you know, if you, if you, you know, if you, if you got a car, right, say you buy a car and, you know, you've been driving this car, it's a good car, but all of a sudden so, 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 something starts going wrong on it and, it and it breaks. You know, you you can get that fixed. You know, that's something that you can, over time, you know, when you get paid or whatever it may be, you know, you, you, it's something that you can fix. But when everything starts to break at one time, you got you to gotta just get rid of the whole car. You see, you got you to just let the whole car go, man. It's time to start over. And that's what's happening. It's going to happen to America, man. You're going to be in like every single horror movie you, you, you've ever seen all in one. Okay, or have ever been created all in one. Such as was never since, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, meaning the elect. Okay? And many of them that sleep, meaning that died in the dust of the earth. It says sleep in the dust of the earth. Now, who sleeps in the dust of the earth? Who, who, who goes and just, you know, hop in bed and it's a damn hole in the dirt? No, man. This is talking about those people that have died. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall be a shall awake. You see? Shall awake. Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Many people, hey, the Lord going to raise up the men of the Lord that were martyrs for this truth. But, you know, even the damn wicked, man. It says, some to everlasting life and some to Shame and everlasting contempt. You see? Shame and everlasting contempt, man. You see? And they, that's, that's, what, that's just what it's going to be for, for, for the two thirds of all people that didn't want to get right with Yahweh Bashim. I thought it was a joke, thought it was a game. These people on the screen that say that, 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 that they are regretting. These people are ashamed of taking that thing. I mean, you, you ask somebody now about, did you take it? And they fucking snapping on you. As if, but, but just a couple months, just, just a couple, two, two weeks ago, they was, they was telling you. You know, you should take it, go take it, go take it. But all of a sudden now, all, hey, nobody want to talk about it. Hey, did you get it? Uh, that's not your business. That's a personal question. Did you get it? You, you, don't worry about what I got. You know? <laughs> Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. I'm in off a disc. I've been, um, it's been quite a long time on this video, so I, I ain't going to hold y'all no no, no, not much longer. 
Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell there in them. So lucky we don't ran out of the hole. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell there in them. Woe unto the inhabitants, which means destruction. Okay, death is coming. Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea and of the earth. For the devil shall come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this man knows time is short. So he's making plans to, you know, do this thing fast, man. You know, operation what? Speed. Operation what? Speed. <laughs> okay. It's coming, man. It's coming and it's coming and it's coming fast, man. It's gonna be it's it's it, 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 it's gonna be bad. Okay. Get ready for a bumpy ride, a very bumpy, uncomfortable ride, man. And 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 and, and, and on that ride, be content and pray nonstop, seeking. And asking for mercy from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Not no Cesare, not no damn Allah, none of that shit. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Pray to the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for mercy. That he had mercy upon your, 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 your uh, family and your friends that, that believe upon his name. All right? Because we're going to need that mercy, man. <laughs> okay? These devils getting ready to come with it. But the Lord got a better and even greater salvation for us, man. So, hey, fear not. You know, keep the faith. You know, stay strong. Um, I want to say call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, um, Bashim, um, Rakak Dash, you know, and the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for giving me the spirit to do this lesson, man. You know, giving me the spirit to, you know, to to edify and use, you know, my this platform to further push out His word and His prophecies, man. Because hey, we coming into that time where all hell is about to break loose, so be prepared for it, man. Let me see, let me see, it says, um, Alex 343 says, my left arm has been burning for seven days. I regret taking the V and don't think it should be mandatory, you see. So Alex took took took, took the, the damn thing and now his arm been burning for seven days. <laughs> Sheesh. But, but hey man, there you go man, I'm going to give all praise, I'm going to go to Yahabashim Yashai. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom.